This little program was made to um, work out how many days there were in a month um, using uh, if statements and while loops. I've also included um, checking for leap years, but I haven't included any validation of the year or the or the month. So if you enter a false month or a, or a, a nonsensical year, it will it will just say there were 28 days. Um, you, I'm sure you can uh, improve the validation. So this is the program. I've got an exit code set. I've got a string in the month for the year. So month and year. While the exit code is false, it asks you to enter a month or X to quit. If you uh, enter the month and it's X, it exits and just stops. If you enter a month, it'll then ask you for a year. It will then call the um, the function that I've written um, that does the work and output whether it is 28, 29, 30 or 31 days. Um, if we look at the function itself, it's quite straightforward. So got the declare for the days, look you can see the two parameters coming in with the year. So this calculation here works out if it's a leap year. So if it's a leap year it's 29 days, job done. If it's not a leap year then it's Starts up, I assume, is 28 days. Checks if it's January, March, or July, or May. If it's true, that's 31 days. Otherwise, it checks again for um, June, September, November, and April. If that's true, it's 30 days. Obviously, as it comes through, it's 28. So if that's not true, then it's 28, which is why it returns 28. So the, the validation is not perfect, but it will do the job of checking um, how many days there are in a month including leap years. So if we run it, and if I do uh, February 2000, which is a leap year, 29 days. If I do uh, July 1971, 31 days in July. If I do April 2000, 30 days in April. So there you go, X to quit. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you do, um, feel free to like and subscribe. If you really like it, buy me a coffee.